there. Today I'm going to show you how to make a felt puzzle in the hoop. So today we're going to make the whale puzzle from Deja Vu Designs. It's available on her website and I'll put a link to it underneath this video. What you will need is a 5x7 or larger hoop with a piece of tearaway stabilizer. You will need um, two pieces of felt. Um, you can get a sheet of the 9x12 craft felt from the craft store, or if you use a lot of felt, it's more cost effective to buy it by the yard. Um, that's what I do, and then I cut it into little pieces ahead of time. So th those are right here. Then you will need um, black thread for the eye of the whale, and then you'll need thread to match whatever color you chose for your whale. So I have gray right here. And of course you'll need a scissors and your embroidery machine. So the first step will be to take one of the pieces of felt, lay it in your hoop, just like this, and load it in your machine with your black thread, and then stitch the eye. Alright, the second step is to trim off the thread tail from the eye stitch. It looks like this. Then you're going to add your second piece of felt onto the back of your hoop, and then you're going to tape it in place. I put one piece of tape on each end of the felt, and you need to make sure that your felt piece is big enough so that where you taped it is not going to be in the way of the stitching because um, sewing through a needle or sewing through tape really messes up your needle and causes problems, so you want to avoid that. So we're going to put this back in our machine, making sure that our felt is still nice and flat underneath. We'll put it back on. Then we need to switch our thread. And then run the final step, which is the, uh, the puzzle pieces and the outline of the whale. So now that the design has been stitched, you'll remove it from your hoop and then tear away the stabilizer. Then after the stabilizer is all torn away, you will want to trim your jump stitches if you haven't already on the front and the back, and then it'll be time to cut this out. I do want to mention though that um, you, you're not limited to using felt with these. You can also use some sort of woven fabric like quilting cotton with heat and bond light fused to the back of it in place of felt. And that'll also work well and the heat and bond light makes it durable and keeps the edges from fraying. So anyhow, oh, we got a cat saying hi. Um, we're going to cut this out now. I won't go through the whole thing because uh, that won't be very exciting to watch. But anyhow, you'll be cutting it just about an eighth of an inch around the edge. And then um, you can see that there are double lines, like little pathways between all the pieces. And that is where you'll want to cut. Um, some people have a little bit of difficulty cutting in that tight area. And what has been suggested by many people is to turn the puzzle instead of your scissors and that they find that that helps. So no penny. So anyhow, um, here's what it looks like and you just want to trim between those two lines of stitching. You want to be very careful, take your time, use good lighting, and you don't want to cut the actual stitching. That's very important. So just like this, and I think you get the idea. So you'll, you'll cut all the pieces apart and then don't do any additional trimming of these pieces otherwise you know they won't fit together like they do here. Um, then um, what I like to do is um, either put it in a Ziploc bag to store it um, or if your uh, child's not really, uh, you know, if, you're, if you don't feel comfortable with your child having a, a plastic bag, 
you could always put this in a in a fabric bag as well. So Penny wants to say hi here. Say hi, Penny. So anyhow, there you have it. This is a really uh, quick project. It's a uh, a great project to get used to doing in the hoop embroidery. It's very inexpensive. You can do it for just the price of a sheet of stabilizer and a piece of felt and a tiny bit of thread. So this is a really great first project and there are a lot of these uh, felt puzzle designs out there. Um, I'll put a, some links to some uh, designers who sell them and have fun. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. below and uh, if you would, like and share the video and I'd love it if you subscribed as well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.